Hello everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Today we're going to take a look at how to connect a Touch 10 control panel to a Cisco WebEx board. Now you might be saying, well, why do I need a touch panel to control a touch screen? Uh, good question. In a lot of cases, it's nice to have the Touch 10 at the desk so you don't have to physically get up to interact with the touch screen. So Cisco decided that uh, since the WebEx board is running the latest uh, collaboration endpoint software, um, why not enable the Touch 10 to work with it as well? This is actually the same procedure you would use to pair a Touch 10 with a room system, uh, a room kit, a room you know, 55, a room 70, and so forth, uh, over the, the LAN side connection, if you will. So a lot of the endpoints have a link local port that you just plug the Touch 10 into and it works straight away. Uh, in this case, we're connecting the Touch 10 over the LAN side port uh, to the unit. So uh, again, this procedure works for those as well. I'm just calling out the Web Explorer because this functionality is brand new. So anyway, let's dive into it and talk about it firsthand. All right, so I'm sure you all recognize this. This is a Touch 10 from Cisco for the video endpoints. Uh, what I've done is I've connected it with the ribbon cable to a standard switch port. It is plugged into the same switch that the WebEx board is connected to, uh, and it has an IP address uh, via DHCP the same way that the WebEx board does. Again, your endpoint, same same thing. So it is it has connectivity or should have connectivity over the LAN side connection to the video endpoint. Uh, in the case of a WebEx board, that's the only way to connect. So to get started, obviously you want to select your language and hit the start button. The endpoint will prompt you to enter a IP address for the endpoint, so the actual IP address that the endpoint has acquired on the local area network. Uh, you can type that in here. In the case of the endpoints, the uh, touch panel will also perform a uh, kind of a lookup, if you will, a universal plug and play lookup. Uh, I don't have any other video endpoints on the network and I have universal plug and play disabled on the WebEx board, so it has not discovered it automatically. However, in your case, there is a chance that it does. Um, be prepared, however, for the manual uh, key in, uh, particularly if the device is on a different subnet or something of the sort. Uh, either way, I'm going to type in the IP address now and we're gonna start connecting to the WebEx board. Once you have the IP address typed in, simply hit the green connect button. The Touch 10 is going to attempt to pair with the unit. There are default credentials. Those have actually timed out and now it is prompting me to authenticate. The username and password must be administrator credentials. Uh, my preference is to actually make a quote unquote service account for this. So I've made one uh, that does have admin access with a, uh, a complex password. The username is T. 10 for lack of creativity uh, and then the password is something that uh, I don't use to administer the endpoint it will remain constant for this purpose only so you want to type that information in as well once your credentials are entered again hit that login button and the touch 10 will verify the credentials against the video endpoint if you have questions about how to establish administrator account, particularly on the WebEx registered endpoints. I have another video that I'll put in the video description that you can check out. For CUCM registered endpoints, the default is admin with no password, uh, or it is something that you probably know because you would have been the one to set it. Once the credentials are verified and the connection is made, you'll simply see a functional Touch 10 panel. Calling, share are both available on the panel. If uh, room calendaring is enabled, you'll also see a calendaring button. Uh, and uh, really, the Touch 10 experience is uh, exactly what you would expect on the WebEx board as it is on uh, other video endpoints as well. Uh, you'll see the name of the endpoint. You'll have the time, the self-view uh, option that you can toggle. Um, you know, and then, of course, do not disturb and your other settings. So that's it. Hopefully that's been a helpful intro to get your Touch 10 connected to your WebEx board. If you have questions, comments, or other tips and tricks, please leave them in the comments section. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and we hope to see you back uh, on our channel sometime soon.
Thanks for watching.